Hey everybody, here is the Case Gears Eco Element 650 watt power supply that powers the Cube Computer Mid Tower Deluxe. I currently have it pulled out because I want to swap out the fan inside of it. This power supply looks really cool, but I personally would rather have a blue LED fan inside this thing. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to change it out. Okay, here's the fan. I'm going to put it inside the power supply. It's a Thermaltake TT-1225 120mm LED fan. It has blue LEDs in it and it is clear plastic. I've seen some fans that have blue plastic. I'd like to have one of those, but all I have is this, which will do just fine. At full speed, this fan puts out a lot of air. Okay, let's talk about this power supply a little bit more. This is an 80 plus efficiency active PFC power supply. It puts out 25 amps on the 3.3 volt rail, 25 amps on the 5 volt rail, and it has two 12 volt rails at 25 amps apiece. It's funny, 25 all, all throughout the outputs. Minus 12 volt is 0 0.3, the 5 volt standby rail is 2.5 amps, and the tow output is 650 watts. And of course, seeing that this is an active PFC unit, it has full range between 100 to 240 volts. Now, normally, when you look on Newegg.com, normally you'll find that Case Gears Sunbeam units, a lot of them out there, tend to be tend to be really cheap crap. But at the same time, they do have a couple of units like this one that are really good quality. And this is, like I say, this is one of those units we're going to have a look inside of it here in just a moment. All right, let's go over connections on this unit. It has a 20 plus 4 pin main connector. It has two video card connections. It's like a spaghetti of wires right here, because I mean, anyways. We have our 6 pin connector and our 6 plus 8. We have four SATA connectors total on this thing two on this strand and two more on this strand and we have a total of six four pin Molex connections and one floppy disk connection which actually still gets used the mid tower Lux still has a floppy drive in it for good reason okay let's go and go ahead and start opening up this power supply and have a look inside you can see through here you can see inside the unit. This is a general idea of what it looks like inside. Let's go ahead and pop the cover off. Okay, I got the cover taken off. And here's how the inside of the unit looks. <clears throat> I'm not sure who made this unit, so if any of you guys who are familiar with these kind of power supplies in terms of pointing out the LEMs and you know who made this unit, feel free to comment. I'm kind of curious to know. Anyways, here is the fan. It is a Hong Xing. Some weird name. Runs on 12 volts at 0.30 amps. And the fan going to be installing is a thermal tank fan that pulls 0.38 amps, so it's got a little bit more beef to it than this one. Anyways, inside the power supply itself. If you viewed my older videos about power supplies, this will be your first time seeing a power supply video from me that talks about an active PFC power supply. These are much different than your older non-PFC units. The older non-PFC units have a switch up front to select between 120 and 240 volts, while these newer active PFC units regulate that for you as you saw earlier in the video. This power supply has full range. And being able to regulate the electricity input so well makes them very efficient. This is why the majority of, probably if not all, of the A plus power supplies on the market are active PFC units. This power supply here puts out barely any heat at all. And your power company will sure appreciate it when you use a power supply like this because of the fact that it corrects the power factor. 
older style power supplies really like to mess with your power company's power factor on the lines which is not very good anyways like I say an active PFC unit makes it really is really efficient this power supply also has a very good build quality have a look here at the input filter stage you'll see we have on the plug we have our X capacitor we have two Y capacitors soldered onto the plug itself and down here on the PCB where the filtering stage continues we have our two coils an X capacitor and two Y capacitors that's the standard and of course it continues on into our PFC controller circuit and then we have our switching area and our outputs the capacitors in this thing on the output side are a brand called P-Tech which I personally don't care for these lower end not heard about much capacitor brands but the caps in this unit seem to be just fine probably because of the fact that this thing it puts out such clean power and have a look here on our primer we have a single TPO 400 volt 330 microfarad capacitor the older style power supplies with non PFC and passive PFC have two separate capacitors what many call a double circuit and the effective output capacity of the capacitors is half of what the both capacitors are rated so seeing this power supply is 680 watt it only has a 330 microfarad capacitor anyways we're going to go ahead and get this fan switched out so I'll tell you how to do all that of course luckily in this power supply this is a decent quality unit the fan plugs right into the PCB right down here and if you might be able to see right here is the thermistor for the fan controller. The capacitors in this power supply are actually called PECs, not PTEC. First thing we do right away is go ahead and snip these zip ties. So we can get them out of the way. That way we can free up the wires going to the fan. Now let's go ahead and unplug the fan itself from the PCB. And here's the plug. Now we'll go ahead and remove the fan from the outer shell. Okay, I now have the fan back installed into the outer shell of the power supply. And also went ahead and put this plastic cover on the side of the fan. And I also went ahead and switched the plug over from the outer fan. More or less, I just snipped the two wires, stripped them, heat shrinked them, and covered them with electrical tape for making things a little bit neater. Now this is a simple task of just putting everything back together. Okay, here's the power supply back in the system. Working just fine with the new fan. Now don't that look so much better? Anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to comment.